So you found a washing machine motor and you want to make it into something useful like a table sander or a lathe, or something like that. Well, I'll show you how to wire it today so that you can get the motor to run from the electricity. Then I'll show you what I use to regulate the speed of the motor. I have before me an Indesit WIA111 washing machine. It's up on the bench, the power is disconnected and with the bottom exposed like this you get really good access at the motor. This strip connector unit is held on with a couple of little tabs on the bottom and you just have to clip them out with a screwdriver. You can see them there and they just slot into those two tabs there. This thing here just levers out. It has a couple of little clips but they, they just pop out. In here we've got six tabs which makes life really easy today. Two of them are white, white cables. And down here, the white cables go to the taco on the end of the motor. Down at the bottom, to one of the brushes, goes this grey tube. And the grey tube has this grey cable inside it. So that's brush one. Brush number two is this black cable here that goes over here. So on the right hand side, we've got the two brushes. And the red and the brown go to the windings. So what's going on? We've got a motor. The shaft going through it. One end there'll be a pulley, and on one end or the other there'll be a tachometer, and it'll have two cables coming from it. Inside here are field windings. And on the shaft is a commutator ring. And on it acts two brushes. And so somewhere in the equation you've got a strip connector. Not to scale. And this one has six tabs on it. The taco will be coming to two of them. Field windings to two more. And the brushes will be to the other two. Sometimes you'll have even more field windings. There could be another tap into one of these. And that'll go to somewhere else in the strip connector. In this case, we don't have them. We've got a plug. Three pin plug. One is the earth. One's alive, one is a neutral. These things are really simple. You gotta think of it that way. So pretend that you don't know anything about electricity. The way you wire this up is, you take the live and the neutral, you put a live or a neutral into a brush, you put a live or a neutral into a field winding. Doesn't matter which one. Then, you get a jumper cable and you join another field winding to the other brush. Because there's only two brushes, but there might be more field windings. And it's as simple as that. Put the power into a brush, which is grey, out of a loop, winding from a motor, and then put a jumper across the other two, which are brown cable, which I presume is a winding, and the other black cable. We've got four cables attached, let's see if that goes. So here's the arrangement that I have it running through. I've got a voltage controller here inside this bucket. So I'll plug it into that. I have that plugged into a 5 amp fuse miniature circuit breaker. If you want to change the direction that the motor's going, changing the power cable coming in won't make a difference. So if you swap the live and the neutral, it won't make a difference. What you've got to do is unplug one of them and unplug the jumper cable and swap it over. And that will change the direction of the motor. I've got the power plugged out again. If I want to change direction, I need to swap a power cable with a jumper cable. Now we've got the live cable going in to what is one of the brushes, the black cable. Got the jumper going from the other brush to one of the one of the windings. And we've got the blue cable coming from one of the windings back out. Plug it in. It was rotating in this direction. It's rotating the other direction. So here's the thing that I use to regulate the voltage and control the speed of the motor. In behind here, this little knob acts on this voltage regulator and all I have is a plug coming in and a plug going out. So you can plug anything into this and 
use it as basically a big dimmer switch. I've just used a bucket for this instead of a normal IP rated enclosure. Disconnected. So inside this bucket, this is the voltage regulator. It's a 220 volt AC, 5000 watt SCR voltage regulator. And all you can see, pretty, it's really simple. Power comes in, power goes out. Power goes out to this plug socket I've rigged up over here, and it comes in from another plug. I got this on eBay for, I don't know, something under 10 pounds, shipped from China. Does the trick for me, haven't blown it up yet. I've blown up lower ones doing washing machines, so you need one that's pretty beefy. SCR stands for Silicone Controlled Rectifier. That's about the limit of my knowledge on what's going on in here. The internet is your friend if you want to find out more. I use this method to regulate the speed whenever I'm wrecking washing machines and putting them on trampolines and things like that. It would work for something like a little disc sander or something perhaps like a lathe, but whenever you apply a load it'll slow it down again. It won't regulate the speed so much as regulate the voltage, so as the demand goes up, as the, as the torque increases, or as the, the load increases on the motor, you need then to replace it with some more voltage. But, works for me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.